Hey, what's up, everybody? How are you doing? This is the Physical Media Report. This is episode 136. And guess what, guys? We're doing we're doing a pre-recorded Physical Media Report. This is not live, although it might seem uh, that uh, like it's live. But we do these from time to time. I've been doing these a lot for like late-breaking news announcements because they're just easier to do it this way. When something breaks, we talk about it. But look... It's a physical media report. It's episode 136. We got some stuff to talk about here today. Um, there's a lot of sales going on right now. We're gonna get into that. We've got I've got I've got some notes wrote down here. I'm gonna be very unprepared, guys. Very unprepared and very unprofessional. But hold on, hold on. We're gonna get through this. Um, we got we got some uh, vinegar syndrome announcements. Apparently, there was a sale over the weekend. Uh, we got some arrow video announcements that dropped on Friday. Uh, apparently the, 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 some, something's going on with the Rain Man 4K. You know, the people were upset about the Rain Man 4K, so MBD took notice. They're making some changes. Um, also, people are upset about the planes, trains, and automobiles 4K, and apparently there's a petition going around. We might talk about that as well. Uh, Staying Alive is coming to 4K. I just reviewed and talked about Saturday Night Fever. Ah, ah, Staying Alive. Staying Alive is coming to 4K. Black Adam. Is coming to 4K. We've also got the Magnificent Seven is apparently coming to 4K. Uh, tons of stuff. We got a lot of stuff to get into. Uh, what else is there? There's there's a lot of stuff. Look, should we go ahead and start the show? Should I do the camera pants? And this time, oh, this is this is coming to 4K. Ah, the Arrow video announcements. You guys want me to do all that? We can't get that fancy today, guys. I just don't have the time. But look. Let's get into it. This is the Physical Media Report, episode 136. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah, there you go. How'd y'all like that? How'd you like a, a little intro? A little intro there to 136, episode 136. Yeah, guys, look, this is the Physical Media Report. Not live. Look, I did this last year. I'm in my peak season right now at work. I can, I don't have the time to sit down and crop a bunch of images and edit a Physical Media Report and shoot the Physical Media Report. I've been at work all day, but I wanted to do something. I'm not, I'm not going to miss a Physical Media Report on this channel. Uh, so we're going to get on here. We're going to cover the news. You know, we're going to cover some deals. We're going to cover what's coming out this week. And spoiler alert, there ain't shit coming out this week. <laughs> there, ain't, there ain't shit coming out uh, this week to really talk about. Now, there's a couple things. There's a couple things. But yeah, Physical Media Report, I'm recording this on StreamYard. You know, so like I said, not live. But it might feel like it's live. And I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. I did this live last year. And a lot of people seem to like it. Uh, but a lot of people seem to not like it as well. You know, they they want to they want to hit the physical media report. They probably don't like this either. But they want to hit the physical media report. They want their physical media news right there in little digestible bits like I usually do it. And that's not what this is. But look, guys, I wanted to talk about this stuff with you. I wanted to get into the news. I didn't want to wait until next Monday because I'm probably not going to be off until next Monday or Tuesday, which if I'm not off till next Tuesday, we're going to do this again next Monday as well. Uh, look, should we just start from the top? Let's start from the top. How about this? How's that? How about this? Let's get into this. This is a how's this chap y'all's asses? Let's, let's talk about it. Look, there's going to be a little cursing on today's physical media report. Uh, Decal is releasing a 4K edition of David Cronenberg's Crimes of the Future. So I bought this Blu-ray. When did this come out? I think it came out in August. This 4K is supposed to be coming out in January the 31st. I bought the Blu-ray. I have not even watched it yet. So the joke's on me. I bought the Blu-ray. Haven't watched it yet. 4K is getting ready to come out. What the hell is going on? Like this is pretty, this is pretty bad. 
<laughs> this is pretty bad. I can see why people would be upset by this. Like you, if you're going to do a 4k, dude, God dang it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh God. January the 31st. This came out in August. How do you guys feel about this? Let me know. But yeah, we're supposed to be getting crimes of the future on 4k. Crazy. Uh, you get all kinds of special features. It looks like in this, I wonder if those are on the Blu-ray as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, same company putting this out and everything. I'm pretty sure we heard about this a couple of months ago. But yeah, I mean, you all thought Paramount was bad. Look at Decal. I mean, within four or five months, at least Paramount will give you a year. Four or five months putting out Crimes of the Future on 4K. And I hope you guys can hear me okay. Hope you guys can hear me okay. Uh, Cyber Monday we'll get to here in a second. Uh, let's see, Black Adam. Black Adam was officially announced to come out on 4K. Of course, we knew this was going to happen. Um, so with this, you're getting the regular 4K edition. It sounds like the world is ending up above. Uh, but you're getting a regular 4K edition. This is coming out on January the 3rd. And it has Dolby Vision, has HDR. I didn't get a chance to go out in the theaters to see this one. So I'm actually excited for this one uh, to come out on physical. And I will definitely purchase it physically and, and uh, you know, maybe talk about it with you guys. But I'm uh, going to be getting, uh, you know, Dolby Atmos. I'm sure it's going to sound great. I mean, it looks like a spectacle of a film starring, of course, The Rock, the most electrifying man in movie entertainment. Looks like it has a good amount of special features as well, but you are going to be getting the 4K. You're going to be getting a regular uh, Blu-ray. Both of those have, have different covers, it looks like. And uh, yeah, right here, I kind of show this off. I mean, I, I like the Blu-ray cover. The Blu-ray cover does kind of more or less looks like a Marvel cover, though, if I'm being honest. Whereas the 4K cover looks a little cooler, looks a little sleeker, which it should. I mean, it's 4K. It's 4K. It should look better. But then you got the steel book. Decent looking steel book. You know, it's got the rock. He's got a hood on. Again, I haven't seen this movie. I don't really have the context. You know, but it's a, it's a decent looking steel book. I'm not going to say it's great, but it's all right. That's the trick. All right. So, yeah, we got Black Adam January the 3rd. So that's two January announcements. Um, Let's see. What else we got? Dark Glasses. This is a the new Dario Argento movie. Um, and I don't think this has like an official cover yet, but this is coming out. Uh, RLJE is putting this out on February the 14th. So I'll absolutely buy this. I'd want, I want every Dario Argento movie in the collection. And I, I feel like I've heard good, decent things about this one. I feel like I've heard decent things about it. So I will absolutely get it. Um, VHS 99, I will absolutely get it as well. I don't have shutter. Uh, so usually when these RLJE titles come out i just go ahead and jump on them um yeah especially if it's ones i want to see like vhs i really liked vhs 94 of course i made a whole rap man segment on the channel on my monthly round table so i'm a big fan of vhs 94 hopefully rap man returns for the sequel and then we got uh, staying alive so i talked about this when i reviewed um saturday night fever on 4k i said i would really like to see staying alive Come out in 4K. I know a lot of people will say that's not the best sequel. It is directed by Sylvester Stallone, though, starring John Travolta. It definitely looks like, just from the images I've seen, it looks way more 80s. Uh, so I'm sure it doesn't have uh, the cinematic feel and quality of the first one. I'm sure it's a lot more cheesy and 80s. Um, I actually thought Saturday Night Fever was a great film. I loved it. Loved it. Uh, so, but I'm excited to watch staying alive and see what it's all about, but this is going to be getting a new 4k restoration, uh, with Dolby vision and HDR. And this is coming out from Kino Lorber. So completely awesome that Kino Lorber is putting this out. I guess this is another one of the, you know, Paramount titles, of course, Paramount and Kino Lorber have an agreement right now. They're releasing 70 Paramount titles. So this is one of those I guess Paramount didn't feel like doing the work for this one. Uh, let me take a drink, guys. This is something I don't get to do when I, you know, do the little, do the regular physical meter report. I don't get to drink when I'm in the middle of talking. But by God, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do it today. We're already nine minutes into this physical meter report. Hope you guys are enjoying this. And I'm sure that, you know, some of you guys were like, I don't, don't want to watch this. And clicked off of it immediately. But that's okay. That's okay. For those of you guys who stayed, you know, you're you're the real mid-level media fans. 
All right. You know, you're the real ones. Is that is that is that what they say? I'm just joking. If you clicked off, you're still a real one as well. You know, I just don't like you as much. No, I'm just kidding. Again, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyway, this doesn't have a, uh, you know, official cover or anything, but I- I'm dying to see what they do with the cover of this. 1983. I'm excited. I really am. And like I said, I just, when I reviewed this, I was like, I would want to see Staying Alive come out on 4K as well. And then here we have it. We have a 4K of Staying Alive. Uh, let's see. Brian Donors. Okay, let's get into these Arrow video announcements because I'm. this is just continues to piss me off. And again, I know a lot of UK people watch the channel and I love all of you all. Um, but I'm just really tired of all these UK only releases because I have to import them and I don't like paying the extra money. I know I can wait and I can do the Orbit ordering thing. I just I haven't ordered from Orbit a bunch. Um, I'm still waiting on my Robin Hood uh, Prince of Thieves 4K. I'm very upset about that. I pre-ordered that two months ago and I want to get that in as soon as possible. Whereas if it, if it came out here in the States, I would have just pre-ordered it from Amazon and I would got it in day of. Um, But the last emperor is coming to 4k from arrow video. I'm not too, I know this movie, but I'm not, you know, I haven't seen it. So I'm not real uh, too familiar with it. Uh, but I have heard of this movie. I know it's a big one. So I guess that's pretty cool. The Last Emperor um, on 4K. New 4K restoration of the theatrical version of the film. And, um, you know, it's going to have uh, new special features. And it's going to have the eight double-sided poster lobby cards. Fold-out double-sided poster. Uh, illustrated collector's book. So this is going to be the big box set edition. Uh, Adobe Vision, HDR, the whole thing. I, but... It says it's got, you know, special features, interviews and stuff. I wonder if these are new special features or not. I imagine they probably are. Um, then you're going to have this two Blu-ray extended edition. Uh, the UK street date is February the 13th. Um, and then, yeah, let's see, the new 4K restoration of the theatrical version of the film. All right. So I guess that's for the box set. So what are you getting? Two box sets here? You're getting the Last Emperor 4K Blu-ray, and you're getting the Last Emperor. Okay, so I'm at, I guess the second one's not a 4K. It's a 4K scan, but not like a 4K disc. Okay, gotcha. And then you get .com for murder. Hold on a second. Let me let me take a let me see if I get a closer look at this Last Emperor release real quick. Uh, you know the art, artwork's pretty cool, and now they're they're showing the whole thing on this. So, yeah, there's the art cards, if you guys can see that, with all these freaking ads everywhere. I used to have an ad blocker, and then it stopped working. But that's my life. But yeah, it's pretty cool, you know? It's a big box set edition. I don't think I'll be importing that, but, you know, it's cool for those that are fans of it. Uh, .com for Murder. I don't really know what .com for Murder is. I haven't heard of this one. This came out in 2002. And this is a US UK release. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Dot com for murder. I'm trying to see if I Huey Lewis. Huey Lewis <laughs> in the news is in this one. Oh my goodness. Um, and then we got uh, Millionaire Express and one movie, four cuts. Oh man. Okay. Millionaire Express. Nice, nice. Okay, and then we got a Giallo Essentials. I I will absolutely be getting my hands on that one way somehow. The Giallo Essentials. I have the three other ones. I have to get that. Um, we got the Vagrants. Let's see the Vagrants, uh, which has a new a brand new two K restoration. So that that looks pretty cool. Uh, from the FX genius of Gremlins and the Fly, the Vagrant is a demented black comedy starring cult icons Bill Paxton. Okay, so this is the same Vagrants that uh, Screen Factor released because I actually have that. I have the Screen Factor edition, so that's the same movie. Okay, I was wondering that when I saw the announcement. Uh, Giallo Essentials. Which one's coming? That the Night Evelyn came out of the grave. The iguana with the tongue of fire. Is that it? Is it only coming with two movies? 
hold on now. It's only coming with disc one, disc two. Am I am I overlooking a movie? Because they always come with three. They always come with three, and I I I am missing something. All right, sorry guys, I don't want to spend too much time on it. But we have the Sisters Brothers, which is a movie that came out I think in 2018. I never got to see it, but I always wanted to. It's got Joaquin Phoenix and it's got John C. Riley in it. So I'm a fan of both of them. So I, I did want to see that movie, but I never did. Uh, cool that, I mean, it's a recent movie, but cool that's getting a 4K from Arrow. Um, so yeah, I, I, again, though, it's UK only. So again, that's disappointing. But, oh, and here's a look at the last Emperor uh, set in its entirety at the bottom. But the Sisters Brothers, 4K Blu-ray, Sisters Brothers, Blu-ray, uh let, let me click on this real quick uh yeah i mean that's great artwork Ooh, jake gyllenhaal's in that as well riz ahmed that's a great cast that's a phenomenal cast actually yeah i've, I've been wanting to watch it movie for the longest time so i'll probably end up i'll probably import this one to be honest i'll try to anyway um looks like a cool title sister's brother cool stuff okay let, let's go back Spent a lot of time on the arrow stuff. This might end up being like a 40 minute physical year port. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. Let's back up here. We got we got to go a little bit faster. Uh, the Magnificent Seven Collectors 4K Edition. So traditionally, like Arrow usually announces stuff on Friday, then Screen Factory, Shot Factory announces stuff on Monday, and it looks like maybe so this is a Shot Factory release. This might be the only thing we're getting from Shot Factory. And again, it says early 2023, but I imagine this is going to be a February release. Uh, but the Magnificent Seven is the only thing we got. Maybe we'll get some announcements tomorrow. If we do, I'll try to you know keep, keep you guys updated. Maybe I'll do a special update video. But uh, the Magnificent Seven is a classic Western from 1960. I've not seen this one. I wanted to watch it for Western Month and never got around to it. But uh, but yeah, all it says is that's supposed to be coming in early 2023. The Magnificent Seven on 4k and we got uh we got a new 4k restoration of akira kurosawa's rashomon heading to cinemas okay i thought this was going to be a physical media release uh restoration okay so a blu-ray release is expected to be announced early next year okay so rashomon is coming to um the cinema from the british film institution and i imagine that uh it will come to 4k from them shortly after so that's more kurosawa on 4k i think all we have is ran at this point right i think that's all we have because seven uh seven samurai is not on 4k not yet I'm, I'm surprised criterion hasn't put that one out on 4k yet to be honest uh let's see missing got a bunch of okay let's talk about this rain man uh marquee uh collection from mvd so this is supposed to be their first 4k they were putting out and they made the mistake of releasing you know the announcement and it didn't have hdr and it didn't have dolby vision and people were like hey what are you guys doing this is gonna look like crap so they went back they heard the fans i mean kudos to mvd marquee collection they heard the fans they said, you know what? It's going to take a little bit longer, but we're going to go back in. We're going to do this right, you know, and they're new to 4K. They probably didn't know the, you know, the ins and outs of it. They're probably trying to, you know, cut a few corners, maybe. They figured it out, though, thanks to us giving them a little nudge. Uh, but the MVD Marquee Collection has confirmed that it is upgrading, that its upcoming 4K Blu-ray release of Barry Levinson's Rain Man will feature a brand new Dolby Vision HDR grade. The release is expected to arrive on the market early next year. Um, also on the same date, they'll release a standard Blu-ray edition. So yeah, very cool. Um, previously recorded in 4K on behalf of MGM. So yeah, everybody was concerned about this. I remember when I first covered it on the Physical Media Report, not having Dolby Vision or HDR. And now it does. They're going to take the extra time. They're going to do it. So yeah, uh, good on good on MVD for, for changing that. Um, let's see, Kino Rawhead Rex. So we do, I have a Rawhead Rex steel book, a Blu-ray steel book, but we're going to be getting a Rawhead Rex 4K. Um, and I haven't seen this movie yet. And that's going to be coming out February the 21st 
of of 2023. And you can be getting, uh, you know, previously re- previously restored in 4K from the original camera negative, uh, new Dolby Vision HDR grade, and all the, all that stuff. And I imagine all the same special features that it uh, that it had before. All right, let's see. I don't want to miss anything. Classic flicks, uh, salvage, savage salvation, the evil that men do. So we got more Charlie Bronson. Um, on Blu-ray, coming from Shop Factor. And that's going to be coming out November 29th, so I wonder if that's a special edition. Special edition release. All right, let's see. I don't want to, like I said, don't want to miss anything. All right. Classic Flicks, new 4K restoration Okay, so Classic Flicks, I just reviewed one of their 4Ks. I, the jury, they're going to be doing another 4K called Obsessed. And uh, that looks to be coming out on uh, February the 28th. So very cool. Um, I was very impressed with their 4K transfer on I, the jury. So I'm excited to see more of that. Uh, Cauldron Films announced Frankenstein. All right, we might we might have reached the end. What is this? The evil that men do. Okay, Wrath of Man was detailed from Shout Factory. HDR presentation of the film, new Dolby Atmos track. Oh, okay, so Wrath of Man on 4K. That's gonna have Dolby, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Atmos. All right, so let's. Uh, what are we doing now? All right, let, let's stop this screen. Let's pull up. Um, let me pull up Don of the Disc on Instagram. You know, he he does a lot of late breaking announcements. I think there's some stuff on his page that I did not cover. Okay, so apparently we're supposed to be getting the Texas Chainsaw Massacre that I talked about. I think last week. Um, that's going to be coming out from Dark Sky Films on February the 28th of 2023, and it's going to be. Uh, let's see, 4K UHD and 4K UHD Steelbook. So we're going to be getting a regular 4K and a Steelbook. Um, and the pre-orders are apparently up for this uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4K. So, yeah, man, oh, God. And Second Sight, I think, released an announcement too. I forget where that was, but I think Second Sight released an announcement that said that their announcement's going to be coming soon. So it just really depends on like who puts it out first. Like if Second Sight announces it and it's still six months out and this gets released, like I'm not going to be able to help myself. Like I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to buy this version and I'll probably get the, who am I kidding? I'm going to buy the, I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's a classic movie. I'll, I'll probably buy the slipcover and the steelbook for this. And I'm going to get the Second Sight version. Like I have to. Damn it. Bastards. I don't know. It just depends on what it looks like. Like what the what the artwork is, but I'm excited for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 4K for sure. Um, all right, let's let's get into the vinegar syndrome stuff real quick since it's already on you know his page. We'll, we'll just cover it here. So that all this stuff was announced um, during the Black Friday sale, and I don't know if you can still get this now. Maybe we should go to the vinegar syndrome site here in a second. But uh, Freeway is on 4K. Evil Laugh. Um, Blu-ray, Sworn to Justice, and Santo versus Dr. Death. And those are the new Vinegar Syndrome announcements. So Freeway with Reese Witherspoon and, um, damn, Kiefer Sutherland. Uh, I've heard good things about this movie. So this feels like, you know, we've been talking about Vinegar Syndrome, putting out more and more uh, legitimate titles. I think that Freeway is a legitimate movie, a legitimate title. So even though I haven't seen it, I'm not necessarily hyped for it, but I, I kind of am excited to get this one. I think I, I do want to order this one uh, for sure. And this was available during the Black Friday sale. Hopefully it's still available because that sale is over with. It ended uh, last night, uh, but I do definitely want this. I definitely do want Freeway on 4K at some point. Um, but yeah, Vinegar Syndrome. You know, I, I I had heard rumors of sidekicks on 4K. I was excited for that, but we didn't get that. Uh, but yeah, they did their big sale this past Thursday night, announced that as well. Uh, what else do we got here? Staying Alive on 4K. 
Uh, we're supposed to be getting a belly 4K uh, from Lionsgate, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a steel book. I don't, I don't want to say anything official, but I, I've got some, uh, uh, I've got some insider knowledge on the steel books that are coming in the first part of 2023. I'm not going to say anything, but this was one that I heard for sure. So I'm I'm almost 100% this is going to be a steel book, a Lionsgate steel book. Um and I know the other two ones also. But again, I'm not going to you know disclose that information. Okay. I'll keep I'll keep quiet for now, but I I I I got some insider tips from from Lionsgate, you know. I know what's coming. I got the scoop, you know. But I don't have to let it all out now just cuz I know. Just cuz I know. All right. Uh, let's see. That's that's about it that I'm seeing. Oh, the Hitcher. So the Hitcher uh, restoration is still on schedule for completion by March, looking at an early summer release from Second Side. That's exciting. The Hitcher from Second Side, and we're going to get Texas Chainsaw from Second Side. That is exciting uh, for 2023 for Second Side. I, I love their addition. So that's going to be, that's going to be awesome. All right. Well, let's, uh, Let's jump on Vinegar Syndrome's website real quick because I'm kind of curious. Look, guys, I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Um, but, you know, um, we're going to get into some stuff. And I apologize. I apologize. But I appreciate you guys being here tonight. Uh, you know, watching the Physical Me Report. I hope you, en you enjoy it. You enjoy it for what it is. Um, you know, and if you're here for the first time, you're still watching me hit the subscribe button. You know, we talk about physical media on this channel. Um, I can't imagine anybody joining this and this is their first video and they hit the subscribe button. But if you do want to hit the subscribe button, look, we do videos all the time uh, about physical media, movies, owning the movies that you love, all that kind of stuff. So hit the, so hit the like button too, guys. If you haven't yet hit the like button yet, then um, I don't know what to say. You know, I'm just, I'm very disappointed if you haven't. I still love you. I'm just very disappointed. All right, let's see. We're on the Vinegar Syndrome website. It looks like, so I'm going to click on this. It looks like Freeway is still available um, with the slip. So the limited slipcover edition is $36.99. And the standard edition without the slip is $32.99 and there's over a thousand left in stock of the standard slip and there's over a thousand left in stock of the um the slip cover so i'm definitely going to order this probably when i get done with this stream um but yeah this is like a really cool movie a really young reese witherspoon um Kiefer sutherland so it looks like a cool movie i mean i'm pretty sure this was maybe the same year she did fear uh, so I guess Reese was, it's cool how she broke into the business doing these like thrillers, you know, these real dark thrillers. Pretty cool. Um, Roadhouse. I am waiting on my Roadhouse to come in. I did pre-order that one. Uh, Evil Laugh. And uh, we got the Invisible Maniac. Let me click on this. People were talking about the Invisible Maniac and it has a limited edition slipcover. Um, and I thought this one came out not too long ago, but this is going to be on 4k and, uh, yeah, that's the standard edition for 32.99. We got, uh, homegrown horrors, volume two, burning paradise, Warner of justice, Santo, Dr. Death. So that's all I'm seeing. That's new, I believe. Um, Okay, now this is saying that the sale is still on until tonight at midnight. So I might, you might have to get on here and order this damn freeway before the sale gets over because you might not be able to get it. So is that what it said? Well, I clicked on it, then it brought me somewhere else. Black Friday is on now through Monday at 11.59 p.m. The Secret Vinegar Syndrome releases are Freeway and Evil Laugh. Okay, new VSA, VSA releases are Sworn to Justice and Santo vs. Dr. Death. And the new limited edition slipcover. Uh, okay, I can't read that because they do something stupid where it 
comes out when you. All right, brand new limited edition slipcovers for the Lost Films of Herschel Gordon Lewis, Doll Squad, Tanny and the T Rex, and Blood Beat. Okay. All right, so yeah, we have until tonight, I think, to order Freeway or Evil Laugh. I could be wrong. Maybe they're still available for tomorrow. They're just a little bit more price wise. Um, but yeah, again, Vinegar Syndrome sale. You can get on here if you want to call this a sale. I mean, I guess it's a sale. <laughs> All these seem to be like 25, 32 bucks. Like that's not, you know. Let's see. What's the 2023 subscription? Reserve now and save. Each day. Okay. Yeah, I got to look at the subscription service. I might get the vinegar syndrome. I'm not getting the vinegar syndrome subscription. All right, let's uh, let's go back to Blu-ray.com. We're going to get into the deals. That's that's enough with the that's enough with the announcements. That's enough with the announcements. Let's, let's talk about some deals, and then we'll go into to what's new this week. You know, it is Cyber Monday, and a lot of really great deals, guys. A lot of really great deals today. I tried to share some on my Instagram today while I was at work. Uh, but look at this right off the top. Can you guys see this? All right, just making sure it's on there. Um, God dang it, ads. Uh, but anyway, right off the top, the Columbia Classics Volume 3. I spent $108 on that thing. It's $71.49. So if you waited, you will be rewarded right now. And I wish I would have waited, damn it, because I haven't watched one of those movies yet. Uh, but the Wizards of, Wizard of Oz is $11.99. Haven't seen that on sale yet. A lot of new stuff, guys. We've been seeing mostly the same stuff all through the Black Friday season. We got some new stuff. I was thinking about ordering the Mission Impossible because I don't have any of those movies in 4K. And I would definitely, I might have Fallout in 4K. None of the early ones, though. Uh, but $40.99 for that. The Lord of the Rings trilogy, $43.99. Um, so good deal for that. Indiana Jones, four movie collection, 30, $39.99. Hobbit trilogy, $46.99. Ten Commandments, $5.99. Uh, the Harry Potter Harry Potter train said they cannot give that thing away. It's ridiculous. Uh, is eighty nine ninety nine. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory eleven ninety nine. All these Star Trek four Ks look like they're twelve ninety nine right now. So really good deals for those. Um, Godfather trilogy forty one ninety nine. That's a big deal, guys. Godfather trilogy, uh, very cheap. Hitchcock Classic Collection is forty four ninety nine. Good deal for that. Uh, John Wick one, um, I think that's John Wick. Yeah, one through three, sixteen ninety nine for all the John Wick movies on four K, and Starship Troopers Steelbook twenty two ninety nine. The Matrix, all four of the Matrix movies are forty five ninety nine. Ooh, the Audrey Hepburn seven movie collection. That's a good deal. I, maybe I might want to get that twenty six ninety nine. Reservoir Dogs thirteen bucks on four K, guys. Look, if you all have not gotten Reservoir Dogs on four K, please get this. It's so, it looks so great. It looks so great. It's really a beautiful uh, transfer. And the movie's awesome. I love Reservoir Dogs. Um, train uh, Edge of Tomorrow, $9.99. Train to Boost on 4K. I think that I think that comes out this week, actually. It's $14.96. Very cheap 4K. Uh, the Mummy Trilogy is $24.99. Do, can we stop calling the Mummy a trilogy? The third film doesn't exist, as far as I'm concerned. Highlander 4K is is available to pre-order for $14.99. But look, the Godfather Steelbooks are back up. Uh, part 2, $12.99. I thought Part 1 was up as well. Did that one sell out already? I thought I saw Part 1 up earlier. That might have sold out already, guys. Damn it. Because I, I I mean, it's my fault I didn't pull the trigger, but it's like every time I see it, I was like, I need to pull the trigger on these and get these damn 4K Steelbooks. They're beautiful, but I never do. Uh, Jurassic World... That's a six movie collection. Okay, that's blue. Right, I thought it was four K. Twenty nine ninety nine. Great deal, great deal. Uh, Bumblebee four K seven ninety nine. I have that movie on Blu Ray. I bet it will look amazing on four K though. Uh, the Northman nine ninety nine. Uh, Infinite on Blu Ray five ninety nine. Indiana Jones. Mission Impossible all six movies on Blu Ray nineteen ninety nine. Good deal for that. Adaptation 4K upcoming 1899. I wonder if it's going to stay that way. Or if it's just pre-order deal. Blackhawk down 4K 1296. So yeah, you got some good good sales right now. Ooh, the Friday the 13th 8 movie collection steelbook. That's an awesome steelbook. 3699. If you don't own any of those movies on Blu-ray, they're all super fun. Highly recommend them. Um 
six ninety nine for that steel book. That's a steal, a literal steal. We got Reds. This is a Paramount release. I think that comes with a slipcover too, uh, for nine ninety nine. Uh, Real Genius, fifteen ninety nine. Groundhog Day, sixteen ninety nine. Although I would recommend waiting for the um, steel book that comes out next year. Ten Commandments, four K, twelve ninety nine. Wayne's World two movie. Wayne's World one and two. Ten ninety nine. Good deal. Uh, I know what you did last summer is a great four K. Buy that one, fifteen ninety nine. Great deal. Evolution on Blu Ray is nine ninety nine. I, I do want that in the collection. I do. Oh, if you don't want to have to get the steel book, the eight movie Friday the 13th collection is available right now, guys. $21.99. Look, if you don't want to get that Screen Factory set, I understand. You don't want to get the steel book. I understand. How can you pass up Friday the 13th, eight, eight movies on Friday the 13th for $21.99? That is a ridiculous price point. That is less than $3 per movie. Ridiculous. Uh, Braveheart and Gladiator, $20.99. Some, some good deals, guys. Uh, Sonic 2 on 4K, $9.99. Let's see. Ghostbusters 4K, $9.99. Yeah, good stuff. A lot of good deals. A lot of good deals. I guess I should... Um... Yeah, a lot of good stuff, guys. Um, I don't know if uh, Best Buy did anything for Black Friday or Cyber Monday. People want to say Black Friday. We're not in Black Friday anymore. How long are we? Oh, we're going on 36 minutes. Let me just check real quick. Okay. Cyber savings. I, I really doubt they did anything different as far as their deals. Cyber Monday. Should have been more prepared for this. But yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing anything. I'm sure they did something. But I'm not I'm not seeing any movies actually. Uh I'm not seeing the movies on here. But uh okay. I don't know why I took Blu-ray.com down, but I gotta bring it back up. Now I just have my dumb face in full frame. All right, let's bring up Blu-ray releases. We'll go through We'll go through what is coming out this week. This is not going to take very long. Um, I already covered one of these releases in a video because I got it in early to uh, to review and talk about. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. Um, all right. Go ahead and share the screen again. So let's go to the last week. That November has really been a great month. It really has been a great month for physical media. Five weeks in November. Um, I do plan to do the November roundtable, just to let you guys know that should be, I'm hoping maybe next week, but it might be the week after. I'm not 100%. It just depends on where we get with the, you know, with my peak season. Uh, we got some of the vinegar syndrome stuff coming out this week, I guess, to order off of Amazon. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Don't Open Till Christmas. Werewolf versus Vampire Woman. A lot of this stuff has already come out, but what I, th what I think Vinegar Syndrome does is they'll release their stuff to order off of their site, and then later on you can order it like off of Amazon and stuff. Um, so yeah, you got Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 coming out to order off Amazon, Don't Open Till Christmas, uh, The Werewolf versus Vampire Woman, Blood Blood Delirium, Amityville Curse, um, Mansion of the Living Dead, In the Soup. What is In the Soup? This is a uh, factory 25. That's Steve Buscemi. It looks like, I don't even know what that is. 19, uh, 34.99 though. They're charging a lot for the soup. A lot for the soup. Uh, Train to Busan 4k. Yeah. That, that's a big one this week. Um, I know a lot of people love that movie coming out from, I think Wellgo. Yeah. Wellgo is releasing that. And uh, cutters way. Westworld season four. I mean, I think that's the last season because that show got canceled. Detective Story. That's a Kino Lorber release. And um, let's see. Come with me, my love. Satan was a lady. Blu-ray. Picarama. Picarama. Uh, but okay. Don't worry, darling. Comes out this week on 4K. That's twenty-seven ninety-nine for that. 
And the evil that men do comes out this week. This is a Shout Factory exclusive. Okay, this that's what I thought. So you got to get on their website to order that. Um, Emily the Criminal comes out this week, twelve ninety nine with uh, Aubrey Plaza. That's coming out from Vertical. That's a good price for that. I feel like I've heard good things about it. So I might have to might have to snatch that one up since it's pretty cheap. Uh, scrolling back up, I forgot to. I think there's a couple other Kinos, French Noir Collection, Blu-ray, Speaking of Murder, Back to the Wall, and Witness in the City. So that's three movies in one, $34.99. Good price. See, Kino knows how to do it, you know. $34.99 for the film noir, The Dark Side of Cinema, uh, 11th edition, Blu-ray. All right. Uh, oh man, it brought me all the way back up again. Fine. We'll do it your way. Blu-ray.com. All right. What else we got? We got the offer. The offer came out. Uh, that, that's a show about the making of the Godfather. I think that's on Paramount plus, and now it's coming to physical because Paramount actually cares about putting stuff out physically. Like this was a Paramount exclusive show, Paramount plus ex- exclusive show. And they're putting it out physically. You don't see Netflix do that. You don't see Disney plus do that. You don't see anybody else do that. Paramount's doing it though. Cause they care. If you don't have their streaming service, they was, they still want to, you know, they still want you to see the show. I heard it's a good show. Miles Teller's in it. $29.99 for the offer. Yeah, support Paramount. Paramount's awesome. They are awesome. The Pact. What is the Pact? Is that a Vinegar Syndrome thing? Saturn's Core. I don't know a cool cover on that one. All right, we got Jack Ryan, 4K. Uh, what season is that? Season 2. Peking Express. Imagine that's uh, Kino Lorber, but I'll double check. Yeah, Kino Lorber, seventeen ninety nine. Uh, but yeah, lot, not a lot coming out this week. Don't worry, darling. On Blu-ray, Westworld season four on Blu-ray. Um, you got the unguarded moments. I imagine that's Kino Lorber as well. Uh, a knives, a knife in the head from Cohen Media Group, Convoy Busters, um, Shanghai Joe, Shanghai Joe, <laughs> Shanghai Joe. Oh god, what is that? Our Christmas Emergency Declaration, Inspector Magret. We got Ghost Season 1. Uh, oh my goodness, we got the Amityville Karen. Shout out to Cool Duder. I think he directed that. Uh, that's getting a Blu-ray. Awesome. Limited edition of 1,000 made. Um, SRS Cinema. Very cool. And no price tag. I don't know if that's coming out or not. But yeah, um, what is this? Prancer? A Christmas tale? Is that a new Prancer? I didn't know they were doing a new Prancer with, with James Cromwell. $17.99 from Universal. I like the old Prancer. It was pretty good. Pretty good uh, Christmas movie. Uh, let's see. Detect. Oh my goodness, guys. We got a new Bruce movie. Is he almost done? Really? I know he had to do like eight releases this year when we found out that he was having, you know, the problems um detective night rogue look at that bruce willis support bruce 1496 i wish they would have done apex 2 borgias is the complete uh something season i don't know what it is uh the silent twins universal studios 1999 i don't even know what this is what is that Letitia Wright, she was from Black Panther. Okay. What is that little bird in the tree? What's going on, guys? I don't know what the hell is going on anymore. What am I even doing? You know, the physical media report. Nobody's going to watch this. Nobody is still watching, I can guarantee. There is nobody watching. If you are still watching right now, guys, how long have we gone? 44 minutes. If you're still watching... Let me know in the comments, please. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know if you're still watching the comments. Uh, but look, guys, we're done. We're done. I- I'm done with um, physical media talk for tonight. I'm tired, but I did this. I didn't want to do it, but I was. I had to work myself into it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. 
Uh, leave me a comment down below. What are you the most excited for of everything that I talked about in the coming months, in the coming weeks, this week? Tell me what you're the most excited about. Tell me what you're the most amped up for. And tell me what gets your juices flowing the most. Leave that in the comment section below. Turn on the bell notifications. Follow me on my socials down below. I got I got TikTok and, and Instagram and, and all that stuff. Twitter. Get it all. And subscribe. If you didn't subscribe already, subscribe. But look, I'll see y'all later. The hell with it. We're done. Physical Media Report, episode 136. Let's go.